Today I'm going to show you how to create the Rain in Africa charts. I have all of the information laid out for you from the World Bank. We are going to create one, two, three, four different line charts. So how do you do that? First, click insert at the top and then click chart. Once you get there, click line or you can click column. I chose a column chart. I'm going to move this right here. I'm going to click this down arrow and click open source. This is going to take me to the Google Sheets where I can edit the information specifically for this chart. Once you get this, I would delete this title and I would title it the information for the specific chart. For example, this is going to be East Africa. Then I would take the information from this chart and I would copy and paste it. You do that by highlighting the tables and clicking Control C. If you're having a hard time controlling that table, you might want to zoom out so that you can way you can highlight everything that you need all at once. Control C. Notice that I did not highlight the very top of the table. Go back into your sheet and move that generic table out of the way. You don't need that in that spot. From here, delete that information. I'm going to put my cursor in box A2 and then click Control V. From there, you can see that everything was added very beautifully. Go back to the top of your chart and title it East Africa Rain or East Africa Precipitation. Now you can go into the table and edit it. Click on that generic point score title, delete it, and then you can add East Africa precipitation inches. Now you can be done with it there, or you can make the table a little bit more eye-catching. You can double click on the title, you can center it, you can change the color of the font, you can change the size of the font, and you can center it. Since this information here is with a purple headline, I'm going to change the color to be purple. Once you get there, click update. Wonderful. Now I'm going to make it really easy. Take this Google Sheets that's already made and click make a copy. Now you don't want a copy of East Africa rain. Instead, you're going to change it to Southern Africa because that's the next column down. Go back into Southern Africa and you guessed it. Highlight, control C, Delete that, A2, Control V, and I'm going to call that Southern. Make sure to change the title. It's not East Africa, it is going to be Southern. And the color for this was orange. So let's change that to be orange. When you go back into your notebook, you're going to want to click Insert, Chart, this time, click from Sheets. Click Southern Africa. Select. Make sure that this is the chart that you want to import. Click on it. And then click Import. Perfect. We have two more to go. When you are done creating all four of these charts, as you can see here, you're going to want to create an average column. So how do you do that? Go back into your Google Slides, and I'll delete this for right now. You're going to want to highlight all of these numbers, drag it down, and then you see this funky link looking E. That shows functions. Click Average, and look at that. All of the averages will be automatically added. Let's give that column a title. Now, how did I color this black? All of them are blue. What I did is I double-clicked on the chart, 
And then when I double click on the chart, specifically on that one, I get to color the chart individually. As you can see here, I can color all of them, or I double click on that, and I can choose a color, and I've chosen to color that black. When you do that, make sure that you go back into your notebook and you click Update. That's it.